And there'd been some, you know, anecdotal reports in the industry that like, oh, Nelson's a bit better at coarse gold recovery. Falcon's a bit better at fine gold recovery. Uh, so we decided to test this out to see if that was actually the case or not at the pilot scale in our research facility. So we made a uh, Falcon bowl and we made a Nelson bowl, like or a Nelson profile bowl and a Falcon profile bowl and put them in a common mechanical platform so that all the other variables in the test were the same and tested two different ore types. And basically this is what we found here. Uh, in the copper gold ore that had um, substantially finer gold particles, you know, the Falcon did a little bit better. In the higher grade gold silver ore that had, you know, well graded, but materially coarser gold particles, uh, the Nelson did a little bit better, but something to take home from this is that really both of these results, I'd say, were in the range of experimental error when it comes to mineral test work and gold sampling. Um, so for me, this is pretty inconclusive, which frankly speaks to the industry observations where, you know, we haven't seen any clear published data on this machine's better at this and this machine's better at that unequivocally. So I think like largely we, we corroborated the anecdotal reports um, from the industry here. But then the next question came up. Okay, well, if these have two fairly different recovery mechanisms, what would happen if we combine both of them? 